Time for today's tech check, and we're looking at some massive inflows for ARC and Kathy Wood. Deirdre Bosa is still on the East Coast back at HQ today. Hey, Dee. Hey, Carl. So those inflows, they're part of this broader point that I want to make, and that is that the tech trade is very suddenly right back on, and a lot of the folks that I'm talking to are taken aback by it. Someone this morning called it a bizarro trade because of the speed at which it is happening. And remember, this is happening just days after the near after the implosion, not near implosion, the implosion of Silicon Valley Bank, tech's biggest bank. So what's happening here are a few things. We've been looking at yields. Look at the 10-year yield versus, say, the NASDAQ 100. And you can see that it has this very distinct inverse relationship because just like higher yields put growth prospects further out, those earnings further out in the future, plunging yields are making the case for growthier stocks, many of which are in the ARK fund. The ARK fund, let's get to that because it saw nearly $400 million in inflows on Friday. And I believe that's nearly a record since last April. Of course, that was only a few months, April 2021, a few months before the ARK ETF hit those all-time highs. And it's up just this week more than 4.5%. So it has really been a big part of this tech trade coming back online. Big tech as well. This is, we talked a little bit about this yesterday, guys, this flight to safety and these well-capitalized companies that have fortress-like balance sheets at the expense of some of those riskier, smaller names. And there we get back into the bizarre world, guys, because everything is working right now in tech. That's what I was going to ask you, Deirdre, if there's any differentiation as, as we see this comeback. Because, I don't know, as of a week ago, we were trying to study cash flows and who's yeah. on the brink of profitability and who's cutting costs. And does all of that just get thrown out the window <laughs> here because rates have moved south? It's a good question. I think what you're asking, Sarah, is have the fundamentals changed? Not really. I mean, let's look at a chart of Amazon's AWS growth over the last year or so, and it's projected to go even slower, and that itself is a main indication of enterprise spend, which many tech companies in the software, SaaS, cloud space are connected to. So the fundamentals aren't quite matching up. However, if you look again back to that point about the 10-year yield and making earnings in the future look more attractive, that makes the case for some of these smaller companies. We did have Adobe last night, guys, and it beat. It was a clean beat. So that is maybe adding some fuel. But I mean, the market is getting adjusted to these lower valuations, right? So mid-teen growth may not be looking that bad in this kind of economy. So that's another reason perhaps the tech trade is back on.